Snapdragon just announced their latest Windows ARM chip, dubbed the Snapdragon X2 Elite. You guys might remember the original X1, it launched last year and it was a good chip, solid performance, even better battery life, but it ultimately failed to redefine the PC market like it originally intended. But this time around we have some seriously impressive performance figures, including with the integrated GPU, addressing potentially the biggest weakness of the original model. So when it comes to this chip, we do have a few versions, but the top end model we're gonna focus on in this video is called the X2 Elite Extreme. And this is now an 18 core chip up from the 12 of the X1. And it's based off of a new three nanometer process versus the four nanometers of the X1. And according to some benchmarks released by Snapdragon, the Geekbench single core score is now over 4,000 and the multi is around 23,000. And just to give some context to those numbers, the AMD HX370 manages about 2,900 on single and 15,000 on multi. And for Intel, we can take a look at the Ultra 7 268V, which pulls a similar 2,900 and 12,000 respectively. Really the only chip that comes close is the M4 Max from Apple. So we can objectively say this chip has fantastic performance for a mobile device. And it's also a huge improvement over the original X1, which is more in line with AMD and Intel chips in these benchmarks. And alongside this, we're seeing a boost to the NPU for better AI task. And the battery life here, again, is gonna be completely insane with really nothing else comparable. Now, with all that said, the biggest weak point of the original X1 was the integrated graphics. I actually have the Microsoft Surface with the Snapdragon X Elite, and I can tell you from first-hand experience, it is not a gaming PC. Now, I actually do really enjoy this PC, and I see the potential of ARM chips. The performance is super smooth, the standby time, the sleep-wake, it's all significantly better than X86 PCs, but it just can't game. And not all of this is Snapdragon's fault. PC games are largely based on x86. And that means in order to run on an ARM-based platform, it first needs to be translated, which introduces a pretty severe performance penalty. But also in the original X1, the built-in Adreno GPU just wasn't very good. We're talking about two thirds the performance of the 890M found in the Z2 Extreme. It also lacked any ray tracing and had just six compute units. But when it comes to the new X2 model, supposedly this was a huge focus. The GPU as a whole is 2.3 times faster, it has ray tracing, and it manages a score of over 5,000 in 3D Mark Steel Nomad Lite. And for context, the aforementioned Z2 Extreme with the very capable 890M integrated GPU scores about 3,300 in the same test. Now this alone does not indicate that this is a gaming chip, but clearly Snapdragon made the integrated GPU a priority on this generation, and it should be way better than the previous one. But there you have it, that's the new Snapdragon X2 Elite Extreme. It should be coming to Windows PCs in 2026, and definitely let us know your take on this in the comments below. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.